hey guys what's up hope you're doing well today i want to talk about how to not be boring in a conversation or how to engage someone you like in a way that gets them coming back for more now i realized myself as i've you know tried to date people here and there that one challenge a lot of people have is ability to converse to communicate right people lack conversational skills they don't know how to make small talks bands like just just have a back and forth with you a lot of people suck at it a lot of men in particular they don't know how to carry conversations and just have this back and forth interesting conversation with you but today's today's not just about men now i'm talking about everybody now right because i've heard men also complain about females that ladies suck ladies are so dumb they're so boring they don't know how to talk to how to carry conversations they're always waiting for the men to supply you know conversation material before they reply and it's always one word answers how are you fine how was your day it was okay and you <laughs> how are you i'm fine and you how was your night it was good and yours have you eaten yes i have and you no that's that's very boring and you may not really have much luck with people if you don't know how to converse with them and i know a number of factors can be responsible for you being tongue-tied or awkward in social settings you may have social anxiety you may be shy you may be timid you may just not know what to say you may want you may not want to come off as intrusive or you know too forward so you just withdraw and you're looking at each other so how do you smash your next date you know or your next conversation with that guy you like or that girl you like the the one and only thing i recommend is for you to be curious get your nose off your phone onto the person in front of you that if it's a physical setting maintain eye contact with the person you're talking to over food of course over drinks or whatever whatever it is you're meeting right so we're going to start off with phone conversations now right since most of us are not together all the time we chat by our phone so if you're chatting to someone you just met and you guys have you know you've seen their pictures you like what you see um this is how to go about it now it is very very important that you like what you see if you if the first time you're meeting someone you don't like what you see that might inform how you come across you may be you may be abrupt you may be maybe you may be answering the monosyllables because you just want them to leave you the hell alone if you don't like what it look like or what it sound like right for this to work there has to be a point of attraction right i'm assuming you are vain okay and you judge people by their looks or by their cover it's okay you don't have to you don't have to be shy about it our our reception of people is largely dependent on what they look like for the most part until they are proving themselves they'll be like uh-huh so you're yeah, this majestic well ideally we judge people we judge people by what they look like no cap so if you're chatting to someone and he goes or she goes whichever whichever gender you are hi what's up you're like i'm fine how are you doing he says i'm good how about you i'm okay i had a long day today i'm assuming he says tell me about it then you go when i woke up this morning i bumped my feet against the stool that hurt then i had a shower and had my breakfast and i went to school classes took about two to three hours and afterwards i came back home there was a movie i couldn't finish yesterday i carried the movie i continued watching it it took about two hours to finish it's a really lovely movie though have you seen it let's say desperado desperados right have you seen it then he answers no i haven't what's it about it's about this and this and that and that it's a really good movie you should really watch it all right maybe i will sometime how about you go see the movie at the cinema like this is how you carry on a back and forth the key here is to be interesting and interested right this also largely depends on who you are talking to no matter how hard you try to offer material if the other person is not really witty or is not really on the same frequency as you it's going to end up being a waste of time and you will know that you tried and walk away but if whoever it is you're with is being forthcoming is supplying is matching your energy you better catch up on that and just offer offer information that you know is not too personal or is not too private right i mean conversations can be fun because you're meeting a strange person you've never met before in your life you don't know who they are you don't know what stuff they are made of you don't know what they like 
you don't know what their fears are you don't know what their pet peeves are there are a lot of questions you could ask ask whoever it is you're talking to right and if they're not asking the questions you offer oh did you know I, I i used to play drums as a kid really tell me about it anyone you're with i never tells you tell me about it I mean, <laughs> see let me tell you something this is how you know a guy that's in, someone that is interested in you for who you are and who's always only interested in your looks or your beauty a guy that's interested in you for who you are is interested in everything that has to do with you they want to know they are so particular about knowing what's up with you like whatever it is you say they want to know more about that they will press forward do you understand if you're talking to a guy who's all is only a lot about your beauty you will know because it's not asking you questions about you or your person it doesn't want to get to know you any better it's just talking about surface level trashy stuff that makes no sense whatsoever that is, that person is a time waster cut him off right i realize that what we do as ladies is we wait for the guy to do all the job we know we already like this guy but if he doesn't chat us we won't chat to him if he doesn't um supply start the conversation we will not always waiting for him to carry the conversation always waiting always waiting see that was in the past that was in the past if you're interested make it obvious you're interested whoever whoever takes advantage of that fact is immature to begin with if a guy takes advantage of the fact that you um you showed that you liked him and then he uses that against you for some reason that is a very immature person actually so you have your boundaries you have your values and that would literally guide your interactions with your opposite gender it's very easy to be interesting and if, if if nothing happens in your life if you have a really boring life actually then be interested in knowing the other person ask them questions about themselves where did you go to school how many are you in your family what position are you in your, in your family what kind of child were you growing up did you have friends growing up did you travel how many places have you been in nigeria how many states have you visited in nigeria where we like to live when you grow up have you ever thought about um the kind of car you like to drive what are your fears what are your what's the secret you've never told anyone before um what are your top three deal breakers what i mean there's a lot of things you can ask you can ask someone if you're really interested in them what makes you tick what makes you happy what makes you sad when was the last time you cried right what makes you feel excited right what makes you nostalgic what kind of music do you like are you into afro are you into into dance hall are you into salsa would you like to take dance classes in the future what what are your, what are your bucket list can you share that with me do you understand if you are in the moment and you are tuned to the person you are talking to it's going to be easy for you to ask them questions about them but the challenge here is a lot of us are self-absorbed and we are too self-conscious and we are too worried about what the other person is thinking about us so we cannot get out of our head into the moment so we can face whoever it is you are chatting to or talking with and then engage them meaningfully so that they walk away feeling happy and they want to see you again next time a lot of you will lose good men and good women because you're just boring you may be cute you may be handsome but you don't have game you don't have anything up your head you're just so blank and shallow which is very off-putting by the way so you can go online questions to ask a girl on a first date questions to ask a dude on a first date i have to talk to a guy you just met google is your friend and you practice and practice until it becomes a part of you but i think the the, the key here is for you to be curious be curious be inquisitive let them tell you that no i'm not willing to share that yet maybe later i'm gonna tell you but for now no then you, you keep it pushing what's the worst that could happen we let our fear stop us from attempting so many things in this life including talking to that guy you like or that guy you like if there's a dude you like walk up saying hey i really like you and i'd like to get you in better if you don't mind you will not die or compliment it dudes love compliment they love flattery compliment him your teeth are so striking wow you should be an ambassador for close-up or something they will not forget in a hurry actually life should not be hard we just make it hard for no reason all right at this point in my life i've gone past having to think about what you think about me i don't care okay if there's something i like if there's something i like about you, i'm gonna tell you whatever gender you are i like your wig i'm telling you i like your shoes i'm telling you, you smell nice oh i'm gonna let you know it doesn't cost anything to do that though do you understand 
now I, i'm very sure a lot of you are not like that but it takes practice it takes practice okay it takes practice act like you're a confident person and after a while you're gonna be you're gonna feel confident your feelings will catch up to your actions eventually when we are chatting to a dude stop acting dumb stop acting dumb stop being the old how are you i'm fine you accept you're not feeling the guy right if this is not someone you like you just don't like his vibe and all of that fine you can you can ice them out you can be the, the ice queen there i do that myself all right but if, if you like this person you like how they are presenting you are you're enjoying their vibe then rise to the occasion and meet them halfway stop letting these people carry the conversations themselves join in when it looks like there's a dead hair think of any random thing oh i just saw a program the other day and it's and and you know it was about this and this and this and that and here's what happened and here's what happened what are your thoughts about feminism oh do you think see i don't know how to communicate this but the key word is be curious be inquisitive be interested and interesting those are the four tips i'm going to tell you when i have meaningful conversations interesting conversations with people you are just meeting get them talking about themselves because people love to talk about themselves Ask about what they're working on at the moment. What project are you working on? Tell me about it. Are you having challenges with it? And offer words of encouragement where you can. What's your relationship with your mom? Who are you closer to? Your dad or your mom? Oh, really? What was your dad like? Ah, no, 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 no. It goes on and on, though. <laughs> it totally goes on and on. Did you have pets as a kid? What, are you a cat or a dog person? Write down these questions. I've already offered some to you. That's how to not be boring and really listen to the feedback they're providing you don't ask as if you're interviewing them ask and really listen to them really, really listen to what they're saying listen to them maintain eye contact and you know um do nod right make gestures to make them realize that you are listening to what they're telling you laugh when necessary right laugh when necessary chuckle when necessary make fun of them when necessary don't mock them though just ensure that the, the entire experience is quite enjoyable. I don't know how, how else to teach this, but my point is get out of your head, right? Stop being self-conscious, okay? Stop being so self-conscious and, you know, worrying about what it will think about what you say. Stop typing multiple things and erasing it and typing again and erasing it because you, you, want, you are so desperate to be liked. It's not that deep. It's not that hard. Let yourself go and just enjoy the moment, okay? That's just how you enjoy yourself. And if you do all these things and the guy is, and it looks like the, the, the conversation is not going nowhere, then that's not on you, that's on the guy. And it's not on your frequency. Just let him go. That's it. I hope you're able to learn anything or two from what I've just shared today. I've said a lot. I hope you learned from it. Have a good time, y'all. I love you. Bye.